The best of the late breakers, that's what that was. E Vettel! Vettel! I'm out of road, bro! <laughs> Welcome back to F1 2018. You join me at part number three of our F1 2018 career mode. Which, if you didn't know just yet, have been sponsored by 2Game.com. 2Game.com is an authorized retailer of video games, which means they work directly with the publishers who make them to give you guys the best possible prices for your favorite game. There's gonna be a link down below and you can check out 2Game.com where you can pick up F1 2018. Anyways, thank you to 2Game.com for sponsoring us and supporting our, our videos like this. It means a lot. With that being said, let's get into our F1 career mode. All right. So let's jump on track right away. We still have no proper setups or anything. I'm not the best at making setups myself So I usually go online to go and get them and and no, no one really has the game yet So uh, I, I gotta wait <laughs> welcome to China. Let's try to set one hell of a lap time See what we're able to do. It looks like we're gonna be one of the first people to go and set a lap so hopefully this goes well and we can impress the other team some more and uh Continue doing that. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm honestly interested in all the other teams. There's no team that I'm really like pushing towards signing for. We've already done the whole Red Bull thing. I don't know. Maybe we can look at Haas or something in the future. I should probably not be worried about this. I should probably be focusing on my lap. I'm going to enjoy this car so much more when I get my upgrades fitted. I cannot wait. We're going to have a tiny bit more horsepower, which is going to be great. Give us a couple extra miles an hour, especially down these big big straights and we're also gonna have a little bit more front grip which is gonna be very nice all right let's go currently Kimi Raikkonen has the top spot on pole position let's see short line to the finish third 1.2 seconds though behind Raikkonen that's that's not necessarily that good of a place I have a feeling we're gonna drop down once everyone else does their laps how's everybody else doing oh McLaren went faster than me. We've beaten Magnussen, we've beaten Grosjean, we've beaten Perez, but we've got burned by a McLaren. Now, can I give me some less fuel? We can actually go from 3.3 down to 2.8. It's the minimum amount of fuel that we can run. So uh, let's do that. Oh, wow. We really are a midfield team now. Now you can see what we're doing. We're ninth and eighth or eighth and ninth. All right, let's uh, head out on track and see what we can do, boys. I know there's definitely... A little bit of time that I can make up in certain areas of the course, so uh, we'll do our best for that. We've got even less fuel, so we're going to be a little bit lighter. So let's go. We've got brand new Ultra Soft. We've got our fuel. We've got our... Wait, why is my fuel not on max? Why was it on rich? It should have been maxed out. No! Maybe that was causing problems. Okay. Well, now we're up to max, so that's good. Now we've got to watch our time delta up in the top left, or top right, sorry. We're already 0.2 seconds faster. This is looking good. Make that 0.3. That first corner is so difficult for me. I really, really don't like it. But if I can get a line through there, then I may save some major time. I'm already up to 0.5 seconds green. Make that 0.7. Oh, we're down to 0.6. That was not a good corner exit. Let's keep going. I'd really like to not be starting outside of the top 10... Let's see, 0.6 seconds green still. It's all going to be this last corner. We have improved by quite a bit. Hopefully, we can get in front of our teammate. But we'll see. Get on the brakes hard. Do not miss that inside apex. Kissed it nicely. Ooh, we were actually faster lap last lap. We're down to 0.5. Got to keep pushing. There we go. Back up to 0.6 nearly. And across the line... Seven. Whew. All right. A, a, a little bit faster. However, still far from perfect. And with that, qualifying is over. We finish up seventh and Nico in eighth. Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton really didn't do very well. Look at the Red Bulls in second and fourth. Now, I can set another rival for... ...of eligible drivers to declare as your rival. Really? The more challenging they are to beat the more the paddock will respect you for succeeding. You'll lose the same amount of respect if you come off second best. So it may be wise not to be overly ambitious. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take K-Mag. Let's, uh, let's do that. So welcome to Shanghai for race number three. 
of our F1 2018 career mode. I am very much looking forward to this race. This is our first race on 50% or 50% race length as well as 95% difficulty, which is going to make things a hell of a lot harder for me today. I am going to need to be on point perfect to nail it around this circuit and achieve a good result. We'll see what I'm able to do. So let's see, does anybody have any more penalties? I was really not expecting to be saying that on race number three, but apparently I was surprised at race number one. If you haven't uh, watched that one just yet, I highly suggest you do. All right, so we've got a Ferrari in first and in sixth. We've got a fourth row lockout for the Renault squad. Uh, we've got some McLarens and some Hasses behind us. The Force India's not doing very well. Leclerc down in 16th. The Williams really not doing well. And how do you get another penalty? How is that even possible? Go watch the last episode. Toro Rosso has been having trouble for a very, very long time. I highly suggest you check it out. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a look at our race strategy. We are going to be starting this race on the ultra soft tires. And the game actually wants me to go for a two-stop strategy. I like that. This is a 28-lap race, so let's knock that fuel down to 31, 32 laps. Sounds good. We're going to be lightning quick off the start. All right, let's do it. This is gonna be a good one. Clutch in. Get ready to turn my car. I can't turn my car and make it fast. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Restart, restart, restart. Can we, can we try to not stuff up this race? So let's chuck it in ERS high. Rich revs, clutch in, rev it up. And away we go for our third race. We get a much better start in the Ferrari, but I think the Ferrari power is gonna kick in. Yes, it does. Nico falls off the pace. I'm trying to run wide on this first corner so I don't end up on any inside corner. Whoa, Nico out of nowhere is fighting a Ferrari. I got a collision with Vettel. I did. Magnussen trying to look around the outside. You are not welcome. We are going to run you out of road. But Nico jumps us off the start. He must have had. Lick the stamp and send it, boys. The best of the late breakers. That's what that was. E Vettel! Vettel! I'm out of road, bro! <laughs> Jesus Christ! How are we beating a Ferrari? Whoa, he tries to send it up the outside cape. Okay. I gotta I gotta slow down. I am I am all over the pedals, all over the wheel. I should not be in this race. Jesus. Can I send it up the inside on the Ferrari again? This is gonna be a lap long battle. No, we just got bumped. We're we're out of that one. Maybe it's a good thing. We don't have simulation damage on just yet. Yeah, maybe that's a good thing. Let's go in hot lap mode. Can we close into the Ferrari? He must have his engine turned all the way down. I don't know what he's doing. I just caught up to a Ferrari along the straights and our engine upgrades aren't even on. We're all alongside a Ferrari. We run a bit wide through there. I genuinely didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Mr. Ferrari. Oh, and he's still wheel to wheel with me. The AI in this game is so intense. Jesus! How much of the track do you want to go wheel to wheel? We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. We're, we're approaching the pit window, really? Hanging around the outside on him. Or, sorry, inside. I've got the racing line. I've got the racing line. We need to force the Ferrari off. We force the Ferrari behind to tuck in. Not a great corner exit from us. I think we compromised it. But Nico! Nico is now battling with the Ferrari. I'm turning my, my ERS way down because I am nearly out of juice. We get down to 50% after that scuffle with Vettel. Nico, you gotta turn your engine all the way up, buddy, then lick the stamp and send it around the inside. Wow, what a crazy start. I don't think I've ever gone wheel to wheel with someone for so long in F1 before. All right, there goes Vettel past me. I'm gonna tuck myself in behind you. There's no real point in me defending. If you could just like tow me along though, I'd be very much okay with that. And Vettel is doing what all Ferraris do as his teammate setting the fastest lap in the race. He runs away. Now we've got quite the train behind us. And now we're going to be having trouble from Nico, who's clearly got his engine turned up. I should turn mine back up now that I won't have the tow for Mr. Ferrari, man. Whoa, Hulkenberg. Really forcing that door closed on me. Whoa, there's someone on our inside. That's Alonso. We are bullying the most veteran of them all. Actually, I think... Isn't Kimmy older than him? It's okay though. This is a 28 lap race. 
We do not need to make our move happen now. Oh, I can feel the car just losing grip by the second. Yeah, we're up to 45. That's 10% tire wear we put on in a lap. Let's turn our fuel down to lean. Oh my god, the McLaren is going for it. Best of the late breakers. I've got the outside line this time. Can I hang it around Alonso? I got a nice corner exit there. Yes, I do. I get the power down very nicely. I'm going to close the door on him, run a little wide there. And we're going to keep our eighth position. Whew. All right, pack up the standard revs. Let's, uh, let's try to not kill our tires, though. We've got one lap to do on them still. I can feel my tires just being like, please stop. Stop murdering me. Oh, and a couple good corner exits, and we are gone from the McLaren. Maybe he turned his engine down, but boy, we're doing pretty good. Just to let you guys know, I'm coming in. I doubt anybody's following me in. Oh, there is someone following me in. It's K-Mag and Mag and uh, it might be Alonso. All right, there we go into the pits. I think that is Alonso, but I cannot really tell. Ooh, some of the bigger teams also making pit stops now. Okay, boys, we need one hell of a stop. Got the clutch in already. Go, 2.6. Eh, decent, decent, decent. All right, and the grid stays the same way for for us back here okay so let's try to run away we've got some uh, some overtake ers turned on we have come out of the pits in 18th position actually behind vettel which is pretty cool i want to try to get a nice undercut potentially on nico who's on very bad tires now so if i had a very good outlap coming out of the pits i'd potentially be able to overtake him and catch him up and because of that i'm actually going to turn my ers up and my fuel to rich we are really going to try and pull right now all right, so let's see. He's on the pit exit. He's going to be coming. I set the fastest sector three lap, and he comes out in front. Oh, Nico. Seriously. He's on very cold tires, though. Maybe maybe I can send it up up the inside up here. Come on. Go, 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 go. Step on it, bro. We're wasting time. All right, this is where I might be able to step it up the inside. Can we take a look? Is he going to defend? No, he's not. He locks up his tires. Bro, that is what you get for trying to race me on very, very cold tires. All right. Ooh, actually, right away, as soon as I turn my fuel and my ERS off, Nico's fighting back. Also, I thought this was supposed to be Vettel in front, but it's Leclerc. I guess he's doing a different sort of pit stop strategy. He's on, uh, he's on the softs. He's actually, he's actually faster than me. Oh, and he's got DRS. Okay, bye, Nico. Shit. Can I take a look? Can I take a look? I can take a look. I got the inside line. Bet you didn't expect that. Ooh, that's not good. All right, can we not bump tires, bro? We, we are teammates here. Like, I know I'm beating you in the rivalry, but we're still saving up our ERS. We don't have enough right now. That's my problem. And Nico sending it up the inside. We're about to get some team orders here as we're stuck behind the Sauber together. No, Nico, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm not giving that one to you. If you want to overtake, you're either going to need to do it with sheer speed or some team orders. Oh my god, he's still right behind. I can't even... That nearly ended really badly. I couldn't swing to the inside because Nico was there. Leclerc locked up. I nearly flew into the back of him at full speed. I love you, Leclerc, and I love Sauber, but come on. We need some ERS. Best of the late breakers. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Finally. Oh, I get past Leclerc, but meanwhile, he holds up Nico and all of the other guys behind. Look at him. He's defending hard. Oh, there is a McLaren back there as well. Oh, that is not good. Not good for those guys at all. I need to run away while I can. Alonso gets past. It's not even Nico who's able to, to get the opportune pass. That is so unfortunate. I think there's a Force India in there as well. So I know our car is slow, but I don't know how fast that McLaren... Max Verstappen sets the fastest lap, really? Oh, and the clouds have gone away. It's now sunny. Nice. All right, so we've closed into Sorotkin and the Sauber in front of him. We do have Alonso behind, but he's not really pressuring right now. We do have a little bit of ERS saved up, and we do have our fuel to... To pounce, but I think I'm going to get a little bit closer and try to get them on the big straight so I don't need to waste time dive bombing and ruining tires and stuff like that, as well as putting the car in jeopardy as well. It's not the 
It's not the safest way to overtake. However, plans might change when Sorotkin just goes way too slow around the corner. Accidental dive bomb there. Warnings with uh, Sorokin. Sorry, buddy. Watch out for the Haas and the Force India in this race. They're not being held up by all of these guys, and I think because of that, could be setting some very, very good lap times. Can I do a little switchback on Ericsson? Oh, brilliant overtake. Oh, that is my cleanest overtake of the entire season. We're doing good, though. We're harvesting some battery. We're saving some fuel for later. We've got Brendan Hartley in front. I should not have any problem catching up to Mr. Brendan Hartley. Let's go to hot lap mode. Really burn that battery, and then we're going to send it up the inside. Danny Rick style. It's not the best way to overtake, but I'll take it. Oh, caution. What has happened now? Let's take a look. We've got yellow flags going very slowly. That is Mr. Lance Stroll pulling over and is now out of the race with a blown engine. That is not good. This is when we get into the meat of this race. So uh, let's just put head down and drive, you know, put in some good laps. Oh, some back markers are, uh, are doing their pit stops. That's Grosjean and Perez taking their early pit stops. I think those are, or the, their late pit stops, excuse me. I'm honestly really hoping for a safety car. That would be amazing. Like we'd be able to catch up so much. We'd be able to get our little bit of an early pit stop in as well and benefit like crazy. Remember, box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach and make sure you don't speed. I'm gonna hang it out one extra lap. See if we can change our rejoin position at all uh, on the track behind us. So Jeff, I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm ignoring your call. We're staying out for one more. The other good thing about staying out for one more is that um, we're gonna be able to push our next set of tires uh, that little bit harder. So my rejoin position before was 15th. Now it's 13th. I'm just saying, you see? That worked very nicely. All right, pit limiter, go! Put it in, put it in, put it in. We good, we all good, all right. So there is a, there is a, is that a, that's Verstappen leaving the pits now. So Verstappen just took his last pit stop of the race. Okay. He's got a little bit of a lead on me. That wasn't the best pit stop with 2.9 seconds. Did we actually just double stack there? We did. We just double stacked. Wow. Why? I mean, I understand I sort of messed things up by staying out of an extra lap. But still, anyways, we actually rejoined in 11th place. Look how good that is. The game was predicting us to come in on lap 15 if we stopped uh, the previous lap. So I'd like to say my strategy worked pretty well. Wasn't compromised whatsoever. It was a good call for me. Information on Alonso. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Oh, you don't need to tell me that, Jeff. It's just a McLaren. It's all good. Everybody knows. Anyways, meanwhile, we're past Grosjean. Yellow flags. Oh, I found the problem. I found the problem. And his name is, wait, I think that's a lot. So. Caution, caution. Caution? Caution what? No, no, that was a Ferrari. I just saw him. I just saw him. He was on my map and then he disappeared. Sebastian Vettel pulled off to the side of the race course. That is an absolute disaster. I close into him and then he, he uh, he despawns. Oh, his wheel was actually still there. We should, uh... That should definitely be a safety car. How is that? How is that? Okay, clear. How is that not a safety car? But that is a big problem for Ferrari out of this Grand Prix. That is not good. Look at this. We are right on the back of Sergio Perez now. I am going to save some ERS. Oh, that, that wheel from Fernando is still there. That's, that's a glitch. For some reason, if your car despawns, the wheel stays. All right, so we've got no ERS enabled right now. Perez, please let me pass. Please let me pass. Please let me pass. Can I get in the inside here? Thank you, Perez, for not, like, trying to mong me as I go past. Thank you. Charles, no! On, the, on like, basically the last lap of the race. Charles goes out. I, I don't know where he is. I don't know what happened to Charles. But Charles is now out of the race. Anyways, as we come on to the final lap of this Chinese Grand Prix, I must say... It, oh, there he was. What, what happened to him? He's pulled over on, like, the pit string. How'd you end up there, buddy? I mean, good place to pull over, but come on. But yeah, overall, it has been a pretty good race, I must say. Now, apologies. I will be running through the gravel, but I just want to hit this. Oh. 
Apparently you don't hit it, you just drive through it. Okay. <laughs> the race winner is Kimi Raikkonen. Anyways, sixth place, definitely cannot complain with that. That was that was quite a good show. So Daniel actually finished fourth, well played. Lewis finished fifth, very good job. Nico again, outside of the points. What is going on? Nico's really got to step it up. Like, look, he puts in a good lap time, but he just can't compete with the people above him. That's really annoying. Yes. Made quite a lot of contact with other drivers. Was this deliberate? The other drivers. Um, was this deliberate? As the car wore, it started to lose grip. Yeah, tire problem. Durability department will notice that. We've not seen much development progression for your car recently. Why is that? Because I forgot to do it after the first race. Uh, where's the answer for that one? Uh, not performing. We're really struggling to get our aero pack. We've gone through as much as we can. Up chassis. Okay, I've ruined my reputation with the team. Great. Well, that's everything. Anyways, after a pretty successful race, we are going to be heading to... What is the next race? I'm not sure what it is, but uh, we will find out tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you haven't just yet, do not forget to check out 2game.com. Their link will be down below, and you guys can pick up your copy of F1 to play this game when it comes out next week. With all of that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow with some more F1 2018. I'll see you guys then. Bye!